No contact speaks louder than your words. Hello everyone, and welcome to another insightful episode of Exposing the Narcissist. In today's discussion, we're going to delve deep into the significance of your decision to adopt the no-contact approach with a narcissist and how choosing to ignore them sends powerful, nonverbal cues about your stance against their manipulative behaviors. Ignoring narcissists and implementing a full no-contact strategy are widely recognized methods for liberating oneself from the clutches of a narcissist and their relentless manipulative tactics. While both tactics are highly effective in diminishing the narcissist's influence in your life, it's crucial to understand that merely ignoring a narcissist is distinct from enforcing a complete no-contact rule. The no-contact rule is precisely as it sounds, it involves severing all forms of communication and interaction with the narcissist. This means you do not receive any messages from them, you do not encounter them physically, and they have absolutely no avenue to reach out to you or make any form of contact. On the other hand, ignoring a narcissist entails that the narcissist might still be present in your surroundings, but you consciously choose to avoid engaging with them to the greatest extent possible. In scenarios where you are compelled to be in the same environment as the narcissist, perhaps due to work obligations or unavoidable social gatherings, you actively refrain from becoming a source of narcissistic supply. This means you do not cater to their need for attention, you do not indulge them, and your interactions, if any, are minimal, devoid of emotional engagement, and strictly transactional. Regardless of whether you opt to completely ignore the narcissist or enforce an absolute no-contact rule, you are essentially conveying several critical messages to the narcissist, messages that they find displeasing yet are incapable of ignoring. These messages are potent reminders of your autonomy and signify a clear boundary that you've drawn, signaling to the narcissist that their manipulative tactics no longer hold sway over you. The efficacy of these messages only amplifies with time, as maintaining your distance solidifies your stance and makes your intent unmistakably clear. It's important to note that the identity of the narcissist, be it a family member, a so-called friend, a romantic partner, or a colleague at work, does not alter the essence of the messages conveyed through your actions. The beauty of adopting either strategy, ignoring them or going no contact, lies in its simplicity and the dual benefit it offers to you as an individual seeking liberation from their influence. Moreover, while the narcissist might attempt to concoct various interpretations or excuses for your decision to either ignore them or go no contact, the sustained absence on your part or your persistent disinterest challenges them to confront the reality of the situation. The longer you remain detached, the more difficult it becomes for the narcissist to rationalize away the stark truth of your indifference and the implications of your absence. This gradual realization on their part underscores the power and clarity of the message you're sending by choosing to distance yourself from their toxic influence. Firstly, when you make the decisive move to either go no contact with a narcissist or choose to ignore them, you are broadcasting a powerful and unequivocal message to them, one that resonates with the strength of your newfound independence. The core message that reverberates loudly and clearly in this action is, I can live without you. This step is not merely about creating physical distance. It's a profound declaration of your emotional and psychological autonomy. By adopting the no-contact strategy or consciously deciding to ignore the narcissist, you are emphatically stating that their presence is not a prerequisite for your happiness or the smooth functioning of your life. This decision communicates to the narcissist that you are entirely capable of leading a fulfilling life devoid of their company. It's a testament to your self-sufficiency, highlighting that you do not require their conversation, their company, their assistance or their guidance to navigate through life's challenges or to find joy and contentment in your daily activities. It underscores the fact that your world does not revolve around them, and your personal and professional life can not only continue but potentially thrive in their absence. Engaging in no contact or ignoring the narcissist strips them of the power they believe they hold over you, demonstrating that you are not dependent on their validation or approval to lead a significant and satisfying life. It is a step toward breaking free from the cycle of manipulation and control that narcissists often impose on those around them. This action also serves as a mirror, reflecting back to the narcissist the reality that they are not as indispensable or central to your life as they might have presumed. Moreover, this choice is an affirmation of your self-worth and dignity. 
It sends a clear signal that you value yourself enough to walk away from relationships or interactions that do not serve your well-being or contribute positively to your life. It is a declaration that you are prioritizing your mental health, emotional peace, and overall happiness above the superficial and often tumultuous connection with the narcissist. In a broader sense, going no contact or ignoring the narcissist can also catalyze a period of personal growth and self-discovery. It opens up the space and freedom for you to explore interests, cultivate new relationships, and engage in activities that were perhaps neglected or overshadowed by the narcissist's dominating presence. It is an opportunity to rebuild and reinforce your identity, independent of the narcissist's influence or expectations. By adopting the no-contact approach or choosing to ignore a narcissist, you are sending a potent and clear message that significantly shifts the dynamics of power and control in the relationship. This second critical message is, you don't control me. Narcissists often operate under the belief that they hold the reins in the relationship, dictating the terms of engagement according to their whims and fancies. They tend to treat relationships like objects or possessions, believing they have the authority to determine which connections to maintain and which to discard. In their eyes, they are the gatekeepers, deciding when they are ready to grace you with their attention or when to relegate you to the background, expecting you to be available at their convenience. However, when you decide to go no contact or to ignore them, you are effectively flipping the script. You are taking a stand, asserting your independence, and making it abundantly clear that you are the one who makes the crucial decisions about who gets to be a part of your life. This action demonstrates that you are not an object to be put on a shelf, only to be taken down when they deem you worthy of their attention. Instead, you are showing them that your life does not revolve around their decisions or their presence. You are not passively waiting in the wings, hoping for them to decide to interact with you. You are actively choosing to remove yourself from a position where they have any say over your emotional or psychological well-being. This declaration of independence disrupts the narcissist's perceived control over you. It challenges their ego and their sense of superiority, as it confronts them with the reality that they are not the center of your universe. By taking control of who you allow in your life and making it explicitly clear that the narcissist is not included in that circle, you are reclaiming your power and autonomy. You are signaling that you are the master of your destiny, capable of making decisions that prioritize your happiness and well-being above their need for control and manipulation. Moreover, this stance is not just about rejecting the narcissist, it's about affirming your self-respect and dignity. It's a testament to your strength and your refusal to be manipulated or controlled by anyone. It sends a message to the narcissist, and perhaps more importantly, to yourself, that you value your freedom and your right to choose healthy, respectful, and mutually beneficial relationships. In a broader sense, making the decision to go no contact or ignore the narcissist can serve as a catalyst for personal empowerment. It can inspire a deeper exploration of your values, boundaries, and the types of relationships you truly desire. It can encourage you to invest in relationships that respect your autonomy and treat you as an equal partner rather than a pawn in someone else's game. By choosing to go no contact or to simply ignore a narcissist, you are conveying a third profound message, one that strikes at the very core of their self-perception, they do not matter to you as much as they believed. Narcissists thrive on the idea of being indispensable and central to others' lives. They harbor a deep-seated desire to be deemed so valuable that others would willingly endure their less-than-favorable behaviors or crap, as it were, just to keep them around. This desire stems from their need for constant validation and affirmation of their significance. However, when you decide to cut off contact or disregard their attempts at communication, you're sending a crystal-clear signal that contradicts their inflated sense of importance. This action effectively communicates that you find their treatment of you to be wholly unacceptable. It's a declaration that their presence in your life is not a necessity but rather a choice, one that you are fully capable of reconsidering and ultimately rejecting. By doing so, you are dismantling the illusion of their indispensability and underlining the fact that they are not as crucial to your well-being or happiness as they might have convinced themselves. This decision to go no contact or ignore them also signifies that you do not care for the dynamics that they bring into the relationship. It's an acknowledgement that you are unwilling to play by their rules, which often involve manipulative tactics, emotional blackmail, 
or other forms of psychological control. In essence, you are asserting that your emotional health and peace of mind are far more important than catering to their ego or their need to feel relevant. Furthermore, this stance serves as a powerful statement about your self-respect and your refusal to be diminished or mistreated. It emphasizes that you have boundaries that cannot be crossed and that any relationship that requires you to endure disrespect or mistreatment is not worth maintaining. It's a testament to your strength and your commitment to seeking out relationships that are built on mutual respect, understanding, and genuine care. This message also has the potential to serve as a wake-up call for the narcissist. While it may not necessarily lead to a change in their behavior or attitudes, it disrupts their narrative and forces them to confront the possibility that they are not the center of everyone's universe. It challenges their worldview and may prompt moments of introspection, even if fleeting. Lastly, the ultimate and most impactful message you can send to a narcissist is the undeniable fact that they have lost you. You stand among the fortunate few who have successfully navigated away from their web of lies, manipulations, and abuse. You are part of an exclusive group that has pierced through their veil of falsehoods, refusing to endure their toxicity any longer. And, because narcissists have a tendency to remember those who defy them, your image will forever remain in their memory as the one who slipped through their fingers, the individual they can no longer sway or dominate. However, it's important to note that, initially, narcissists, ensnared in their own delusional thought patterns, will attempt to fabricate various excuses for your decision to shut them out. They might even resort to discrediting you to others, suggesting that you've lost your sanity or are acting out of character, simply because they are incapable of fathoming the real reason behind your choice to block them. In their narrative, they may portray themselves as the aggrieved party, innocent and misunderstood. Yet, deep down, they are fully aware of the true reason you've distanced yourself, and this knowledge becomes a source of irksome frustration for them, especially as you continue to uphold the no-contact stance or persist in ignoring their presence. It's this continuous disregard that eventually becomes a thorn in their side, particularly because narcissists are known for their reluctance to easily surrender their pursuit. The importance of removing narcissists from our lives cannot be overstated and the method you choose to do so is entirely up to you. What matters most is your consistency in this endeavor and your resolve not to succumb to any of their hoovering attempts or desperate maneuvers to re-enter your life. It is through steadfastness in your actions that these messages will truly resonate, striking with the force of a brick and leaving an indelible mark. In wrapping up today's discussion, I sincerely hope you found this exploration into the messages we send to narcissists by choosing ourselves over their manipulative schemes insightful. Your thoughts and experiences are invaluable, so please feel free to share them in the comments below. Engaging in this dialogue not only enriches our collective understanding, but also strengthens our resolve to maintain healthy boundaries. Many thanks for tuning in, and if you found this content helpful, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing for more insightful discussions. Your support is greatly appreciated as we continue to navigate the complexities of relationships and personal growth together.